click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger. Hello friends, welcome to our digital blogger. Today we are going to compare Edelweiss Broking with Trade Genie. Edelweiss is a full service store broker, Trade Genie is a discount one. In this comparison, we will be talking about multiple aspects including company background, account opening and maintenance charges, brokerage rates, exposure or leverage offered across segments, research, trading platforms and some other features so that it can be helpful for you to figure out which of these two store brokers. Trade Genie or Edelweiss is a suitable one for you. Let's get started. Starting with the company background, Trade Genie is a discount broker launched in the year 2012. Edelweiss Broking, well, Edelweiss is a big financial house. Broking is one of their businesses that was launched in the year 2002. Today they have around 237 branches with their sub brokers and offices across different parts of India. As far as membership is concerned, Edelweiss is a member of National Stock Exchange, Bombay Stock Exchange, MCX SX and MSAI. Trade Genie on the other hand is a member of BSE and SE MCX and MCX SX. Now Trade Genie is more heavy on commodity part as you can see they've got a couple of accreditations from exchanges uh, from that front here then if you talk about account openings you need to pay 695 rupees to open the trading account another 300 rupees to open the demet account with them you have to pay amc annual maintenance charge on a yearly basis of 300 rupees to trade genie that basically means that initially you need to pay around 1000 rupees to open your accounts and 300 rupees every year to maintain your account with them Edelweiss is on a similar level, 1000 rupees flat for trading account, no charges for DMIT account opening. DMIT AMC starts from second year of 500, so you don't have to pay 500 at the right uh, time of opening the account. It is going to be 1000 rupees with Edelweiss uh, broking. Then we have brokerage. Now, this is one of the most important factors uh, when it comes to deciding a particular stock broker. Uh, one of them is a discount broker who is charging you a flat rate. And the other one is going to charge you a percentage of your trade value. So if you're a beginner and if you're going to keep your trade value to be on a lower side or a medium side, then you can choose uh, either of these because trade Genie is going to charge you a flat rate of 20 rupees or 0.1%. It cannot go beyond 20 rupees at max. And that is the limit of brokerage with trade Genie. Edelweiss Broking on the other hand is going to charge you a percentage. Now if you trade, let's say for a value of 1 lakh rupees, that's a high value. Then you're going to pay them 450 rupees for equity delivery because they're going to charge you 0.45% as their brokerage. In other segments you can see that more or less they are definitely on the higher side when it comes to brokerage. They don't really have uh, anything going for commodity and that's why we have not mentioned anything here. Exposure or leverage. Now for people who do not understand this concept, it's pretty simple actually. Um, it's like a loan, short term loan that is given to you by your stock broker at a specific interest rate which is pretty high, 15 to 22, 23 percent. You can negotiate with your broker on that uh, particular value. Trade Genie gives you 20 times for intraday and so is the case with Edelweiss. So let's say if you have 10,000 rupees in your trading account balance, you can trade up to 2 lakh rupees with either of these brokers because of this value here. In other segments more or less they are similar. So exposure, well not much of a difference between these two stock brokers. You can pick either of these as per your preferences. Then we have customer service. Now generally there are better and huger expectations from full service stock brokers when it comes to service and support. Advice gives you email, phone, toll free number and uh, 237 offline branches. Trade Genie on the other hand being a discount broker has minimal communication channels in the form of email and phone. So quantity wise certainly Advice is better but at the same time if you look at the quality part, the turnaround time, the professionalism uh, with which the executives talk to you, again on that front Advice takes away the advantage. They have a better and rather consistent approach towards customer support in their turnaround time especially. So you have to pick Edelweiss if customer service is one of your most important aspects between these two stockbrokers here. 
Then we have research. Now again, as you can understand, and that I'm sure you know that the trade genie or a discount broker most of the times do not provide any service in terms of research, tips, recommendations. You have to perform your own analysis at both technical and fundamental level. So that is the case with trade genie as well. Advice, on the other hand, is known to be a renowned stock broker when it comes to research. Their accuracy is relatively better than the industry average. They give you all kinds of reports in terms of tips, recommendations on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly level. You can pick and choose um, when it comes to advice broking. There, on the other hand, if you talk about trading segments. IPOs is something you cannot put your money into if you're a client of Trade Genie, and commodity is something you cannot invest if you are using the services of Edelweiss Broking. So you have to be very sure which particular segment you're looking to put your money into, and correspondingly, you can make a choice for yourself uh, when it comes to a stock broker. Then there are some other features, and it really depends whether you prefer any of this. If you do, then yes, it's going to be a much better job for you in finalizing your decision. Otherwise, you can just move ahead and uh, look at other aspects that are more important to you. Now, we'll talk about the trading platforms one by one. We'll start with the mobile app of these two stock brokers here. For that, we need to check out Google Play Store. So, we'll start with the mobile app of Edelweiss. It's called Edelweiss Mobile Trader or EMT. This application is rated at 4.3 by around 5,388 users, out of which around 9.2% of them have rated this app negatively. Overall satisfaction score in this case is around 90%, which is certainly better than the industry average. Then we also look at some of the other stats here. The last update was done on 4th of August 2017. We are recording this video in the third week of September. So it's been good 6-7 uh, weeks. Generally, they update the mobile app in a range of 8-10 to 10 weeks, which can be improved. Um, some of the good ones uh, update their mobile app in a range of 3 weeks at best. So certainly that particular number can be uh, improved for sure. Number of installs 1 to 5 lakh. So number wise the app does look good. There are a couple of concerns. Uh, there have been issues seen with the loading of charts. So if you're going to perform your technical or fundamental analysis, you might face some issues at times. The overall UI can be cleaned a bit. It's a little cluttered, especially for a beginner user. Otherwise this application is certainly a recommendable solution for the traders out there. Now let's talk about the other application offered by Trade Genie, which is actually a third party software. They do not have an in house mobile trading application. They are using NSE based mobile application that is used by a lot of stock brokers, including Trade Genie for their clients. Now this is rated at 4.1 by around 13,400 users, out of which around 14% of them have rated this app negatively. Overall satisfaction score in this case is 86%. Again, it's a good number. Industry average to give you a context is around 81%. Now, if you look at the stats here, last update was done a day before than that of Advice, August 3rd, 2017. However, in their case, they generally update mobile app in a range of six to seven months. That's a big problem with the, the third party software of uh, NSE. Number of installs 1 to 5 million, certainly number wise this application is being used by multiple stock brokers of India and that is why the overall positiveness or the overall credit cannot go to just uh, Trade Genie but across the other clients of different stock brokers using this application. Now the application has some concerns especially around the UI part, the user interface can be improved at the same time the user experience can have taken a lot of hit but since they have been up, you know, updating their app uh, in the recent past. They've been able to introduce some new features which were not there obviously in the past. So it's better if you can go ahead and use it for your trial, take a demo, get to Trade Genie if you're looking to have uh, an account with them and uh, take the trial and if you like it, go ahead with it. But between these two brokers, it's going to be a little tough because the competition is definitely up to the challenge here. Let's also talk about the other trading platforms offered by these two store brokers here. We'll start with Edelweiss again. Now it gives you Edelweiss Broking Extreme Trader. Now this is a terminal based application. You are required to download this, install this onto your computer and laptop. Once you do that, you can just put in your credentials, username and password and you can start trading. Now this application is majorly suitable for heavy traders because of the kind of exhaustiveness it's providing you, the kind of integration it offers at the same time, it has some user experience concerns. So people who are beginners or let's say intermediate users as well, they might find some hard time initially understanding the application. It's not going to be a problem but it will take some time of this 
to get through the application at an initial level. Number of features as we just said are exhaustive, gives you decent speed and performance. You can personalize and customize different parts including short keys, dashboards, alerts and notifications. That part is there and now since it's a full service stock broker, it also provides you in built research tips and recommendations. So if you're going to place an order, you can see what Edelweiss has to say. What is their position on that? Are they saying to buy, accumulate, sell it, hold it, whatever. You can just have an idea from the research team of Edelweiss, which is a good uh, and a decent one to trust upon. And again, as we mentioned, it can allow you to customize and personalize different aspects here. So it's certainly a recommendable software, especially for heavy traders. Beginner users, intermediate users can Check out the uh, rest part of the trading platform's discussion. Now, Adroid Broking gives you a web-based browser application as well. It's sort of a replica of uh, Extreme Trader. Number of features in this case are also good. You can actually go ahead and check out the whole review here, giving you complete information with some videos too. Mobile application we have just talked. It's certainly a recommendable solution and uh, you can actually use any of these trading platforms from Adroid. Yes, Extreme Trader is certainly good for uh, heavy traders, but the mobile app or the web-based browser application can be used by um, beginner traders. They might not be suitable for heavy traders at the same time, so have to be very sure what kind of a trader you are, what is your phase in the overall trading mechanism, and correspondingly, you can make a choice uh, for the trading platform. Now, let's talk about the trading platforms offered by Trade Genie. Now this uh, discount stock broker is heavily reliant on third party application. We have just seen the mobile app. They have been uh, using it for their clients. Then at the same time, terminal based application, they've got Nest. You can click on this, come onto this page, click on this and uh, you can have a detailed review of Nest. Nest is application basically coming again from uh, NSE and they also give you all kinds of features, but user experience in case of Nest is a challenge. NSE now is a browser based application. It is being used by multiple stock brokers, including Train GD. It gives you a feature such as transfer of funds with more than 24 25 banks. Um, certainly not a problem, but the only concern with third party software is that if you have a feedback or if you have a comment, if you have an input, well, the broker in question will not be able to fix that because the technical team of that broker is not working on this directly. This is the third party the technical team who's working on the overall maintenance of the application and what they can actually do is they can just uh, forward your request and that's the only sort of uh, the role play they play within the whole process. Similarly, the mobile application is also third party. So yeah, you can make a choice of going at with Trade Genie, but they are not going to be responsible of any concern of any updates the trading platforms uh, might come up with. So that's the only concern you have to keep your uh, in your mind then. So that is it as far as comparison between these two stock brokers is concerned. We talked about multiple features here, starting from company background, pricing, exposure, research, uh, service, trading platforms. Now you have to see what you want and based on that, you can make a choice for yourself. However, if you want some sort of uh, a suggestion or advice from our end in finalizing a stock broker that matches exactly with your requirements, you can check out this link here, uh, digitallogger.com slash free callback broker choice. We will put that in the, the description of the video and you can just provide your requirements and details and we'll send you the broker details to you as per your expectations. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching it. We hope you liked it. In case you did, please go ahead and press the thumbs up button. We'll really, really appreciate that. Trust me. And uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, SlideShare, and certainly YouTube. We've got around 11,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that. But uh, we'll certainly like to keep on uh, growing on that aspect. The handle is our digital blogger. We post content on a regular basis. We certainly come up with a video on a daily basis too. That's it. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.